<laughs> well, now, I'm out here at Manlands, and I'm going to build two bush chairs for me and him, so we can sit down and enjoy a meal and watch the fire burn. I just built his table. You've seen that in the last video. So now I'm going to build two bush chairs. So come along and help me and join me. I'll see you in a few seconds. Well, hello there. I'm Ranger Cookie. And uh, I'm ready to show you how to make a bush chair. First you need two nice big size. I'm sorry. Three. Three nice size. Make sure you do a test. Take your finger and go like that. If it's nice, like so, you know you got a nice size uh, stick for your bush chair. You want it thick. You don't want it too thick. Then when you cut your, make sure you get a long straight one. Then go as high as your hand can go and mark it. And that's where you cut it. I've learned there's big guys out there like Donnie and Mark. They're big. They're tall. And the shorter this is, the more painful it is to get in. So the, the taller it is, it goes as high as your hand can go if you want. Go another two feet, and that will give a pretty long and a big bush chair to make for bigger guys. All right, first, after you get your, 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 uh, your dial or your test wood, Measure up with the other three pieces you have gotten and cut it and cut the, uh, the other pieces. Now you can make one longer because you want to make it like where it sticks out a little further so you can hang a light over it. So if you out here in the bush at night, you can uh, leave that little stick out. So I'm going to leave this one out a little bit, making my bush chair with the three sticks because you need three big sticks. One. A little longer than the others because it's going to hang a light or something. Flash these three pieces together. Let me show you. Now what we want to do is put them all together. And you want to flash these babies together. Take another stick or so. Now you want to take your three sticks, your three logs, whatever, and place them together. Putting the long one in the middle. Raise it up so you can work with your uh, your flashing. And don't forget, my flashing does suck. So uh, you've been fair warned many times about my flashing. And make sure they're even at the end. So what I'm gonna do is do a, a little tie one of the sticks and do about 10 feet or 15 feet. That's that's five. 10 and 15 and cut it 15 feet and uh, the extra rope can do other stuff you need you, you can tie the other trick but 15 feet should do the trick place them real close to one another and start flashing them and tie it as close as you can to the top I messed up on that one you can use 550 cord, but that's kind of expensive, and you can just use uh, paracord, bank line, whatever this line you want to call it. Now I'm gonna just tie it off. Now, the finished product. Damn it. Look at me! I should be able to, uh, let's see. There we go. One bush chair! Done.
There we go. I'm always getting to cross things in the top wrong. It's supposed to be like that. But somehow I managed to do it wrong. It's like they're every bush you ever made. It's always tied wrong for some reason. All right. Now we have to make the crossbar. And we're gonna use probably 550 cord for the, for the loop knot thing so it won't fall when you put your bush chair up. All right, I'll read your cookie. I think that's gonna be it. If you don't know how to make a bush chair, I'll finish this up in a few seconds. All right, I'll see you in a few minutes. Product. Only thing I need now is my bush chair cloth. And this is the last stick I gotta cut. And you want to smooth this one out really good because this is where your bush chair sleeve goes on. So smoothing it out will help uh, keep it from ruining your bush chair. So I'm going to smooth this out as much as I can. And you can use almost anything for a bush chair, a sheet, a towel, well, a very large towel that is, a sheet, if you don't have money to sew or whatever, you can use a sheet. And you can use the smallest sheet ever. Go check out Survival. So, uh, John Survival? Or Johnny Survival? Whatever. I forgot his name. Damn it. But me and him is into the bush chair. And we love and enjoy these things. We fall asleep in these babies. So go over there and check out Survival John. He shows you how to make the bush chair really easy and use a regular old piece of curtain that he used to make his bush chair. So, all right, I'm Ranger Cookie, and this is it. Only thing I had to do is tie this right here, and I'm done with the bush chair. So, I see y'all later. I hope you enjoy the Pippin' Out and Lands Camp again. All right, bye bye. All right, this is the last result. That's all I need is the cloth to put into the chair itself. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie, and this is the finished product of the Bush chair. See you next time.